Hi guys, hope you are all doing well. I'm so happy to share with you a new crochet tutorial for baby shoes. They are super easy to make and because I'm using very thick yarn for this tutorial, you can finish them in a very short amount of time. So if you are in a hurry and you need a gift for a baby shower, this tutorial is just perfect for you. For the purpose of this tutorial, you will need very thick yarn, I'm using Drops Eskimo 100% wool yarn, this is an extra bulky weight yarn, my 7mm crochet hook, 3.5mm buttons, scissors to cut the ends, yarn needle, and a stitch marker to mark important stitches. Let's start with the sole. Take the yarn and make a slip knot. Insert the hook into the loop and pull the ends. Now chain 6. Start in the second chain from the hook and work two half double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Place the marker into the first one. Half double crochet into next 3 stitches. Work 6 half double crochet stitches into the last chain, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, And six. Now work on the other side, half double crochet into next three stitches. Now work two half double crochet stitches into the last one. Join the round with a slip stitch. Slip stitch is just a joining stitch and does not count as a stitch. So please do not count it as a stitch because you will have too many stitches in your next round. Chain 1, insert the hook into the first stitch of the round, work 2 half double crochet stitches into the next 2 stitches, place the marker into the first stitch of the round, Half double crochet into next 3 stitches. Now work 2 half double crochet stitches into next 6 stitches. So 1, 1st, 
second, two, first, second, three, first, second, four, first, second, five, first, second, six, first, second, half double crochet into next three stitches, one, two, three, now work two half double crochet stitches into next two stitches. Be careful not to count slip stitch as a stitch. And join the round with another slip stitch. Now we will continue on the upper part of the shoe. Let's start with the chain one. Insert the hook into the not the first stitch but to the second one and work this round into back loops only. Work half double crochet 26, place the marker into the first stitch of the round. As you can see here, I'm working into back loops only. Because we started in the second stitch of the round, we have to make our last stitch into the slip stitch. Finish the round with the slip stitch. And let's continue into round two of the upper part of the shoe. So chain one, start into the same stitch, it's a very first stitch, also called base of the chain stitch, and single crochet five. One, place the marker, two, three, four and five half double crochet into next two stitches one two repeat the double crochet two together stitch six times
one half double crochet into next two stitches one two single crochet into next five stitches Here we have to skip our slip stitch and join the round into the first stitch of the round. Let's continue into the third round, chain 1, single crochet 1, Place the marker, join next two stitches with a single crochet to together stitch, single crochet into next four stitches, one, two, three, And four. Now repeat half double crochet two together stitch three times. One. Two, and three. Single crochet into next four stitches. One, two, three. Four. Join the next two stitches with single crochet two together stitch and single crochet into the last one. Join the round with a slip stitch. Chain 2, start into the first one, double crochet into next 15 stitches, place the marker into the first stitch, Double crochet into the last one. Join the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. Chain one. Half double crochet all the way around. So we have to make half double crochet stitch into next 15 stitches.
Now join the round with a slip stitch again. Let's continue with the buttons. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!